Hello Trophy Hunters and welcome to Procession 2 Cavalry. This game is really amazing, I must say that. Uh, I really enjoyed every bit of it. And the game has three endings and uh, we are going to start our first playthrough and try to get two endings and then the third ending can be achieved really fast because you just need to go in and kill a bunch of people. So without anything else, let's just start the game. There are no specific settings, not nothing that you need to know. So you can just start a new game and uh, follow me in order to get your platinum. So this is just a starting cutscene that you can uh, skip, you can avoid. So now we can start with the game really, so just skip with cross button uh, all the dialogue, but skip it slowly and try to read something if you are really interested or just skip it slowly because sometimes you need to choose a different choice and uh, if you just choose a wrong choice you will be locked out of the trophies. Okay. So here are the controls, as you can see quite easy, uh, as the same as in usual point and click games, click and point. Uh, so let's just start with the game. First go to the left and as you can see on this hanging, hanging corpse there is a scissors. Press cross button and select the hand to take the scissors. They will need later. Now we are going to earn our first trophy. And as you can see here are the bishops, uh, they are praying. Just press the hand to slam him on his back and you will earn your first trophy. After that Save the game here and go all the way to the right and you can just jump off the cliff to earn your second trophy that is for dying in this game. We just need to wait for this to end and uh, to go back to main menu. That is why I uh, uh, said to save the game because you can quickly just go back in the game without opening cutscene and everything. So you can just go under the load, save one and you are already here. So now select this man here and select option to talk to him. This is Immortal John. You can choose the first answer. Are you our new leader? How did you get the name Immortal John? And you can now just choose Don't I recognize you from somewhere? Are you really immortal? Can I do some more murders now? What led you to adopt such uh, ridiculous beliefs? Wait, so you never actually killed Heavenly Peter and this is where we get our mission. Main mission of this game, to kill Heavenly Peter. And we are now going to the second area of this game. And this area is very important because there are a couple of missable trophies. Just talk to the boatman. What happened to your oars? Uh, I guess I should go find you some dang oars. Nothing really needed special here. 
remember these socks, we will need them later. So for now, go all the way to the right. Now talk to the first uh, person here. What's up? What injuries are you seeking care for? Can you help me get to the south? And never mind. As you can see, he has an injury of a long hair, so you can now select the scissors and give them to the rest of the night. Would you like to use my scissors? Thanks. And she is now cutting his hair. And it is done. So now talk to the next guy. Why so glam chum? What injuries are you seeking care for? Existential despair? Okay, that is all. And now for the last one. As you can see, he has a naked feet. What are you going down there? Waiting to get looked at by the doctor. What injuries? And uh, my boots came off and now my tootsies are too cold. Okay, bye. So now go left to the next area and pick up these socks. Go all the way back and give those socks to that third man here. So after doing all this, now you need to speak uh, to the man here. As you can see, he has oars uh, <laughs> by, with his... Uh, that is how he walks. Can I borrow your crutches? Just ask him that. And he will now ask all, of, all three of them if it is okay. And if you have a good stand with them, if you did help them, you will get the trophy and you will get the oars. And he just fall down and we got our third trophy abuse democracy so now we can go all the way to the next area and you need you can choose oars and give that to boatman and you will after that go to the next area uh, we also have a rope here so press square button to draw your sword out and click on the rope and select sword to cut it down. And we can now go. Also just skip this scene with cross button and you will get to a third area in the game, pen ultimate area. Okay. So here just press cross button slowly because there is important choice that you need to, that you need to make. So here you can just choose the last choice. I honestly have no idea why I am here. Look, look at his massive key. <laughs> okay, so we cannot go into the town yet. But if we did, if we help this woman, she can uh, lead us into the town. 
but not <laughs> not everything is like that so first we need to cheer up her donkey and we need to uh, repair her wheel and that is the fir first thing that we are going to do so here is the wheel here is the donkey now go to the left here and press cross button twice when you press cross button twice you can just run towards your uh, point or place where you are going so first thing first as you can see here are severed heads select to choose them uh, to take them we will need one later so now we have a severed head as you can see here so now go all the way to the left and as you can see here is the guy up here and he is on the wheel now press square button to draw out, out your sword and just pick up this tree and uh, select to cut it down uh, draw back your sword again with the uh, square button you must not kill anyone on this playthrough and pick up the wheel here this is to repair the wheels for the lady and now here you can go to the next area we are <laughs> boiling some guy but for now he is not important he will be later important but we need to focus on this apple so talk to this guy here are you going to shoot the dang apple of that jumps head or not so just press cross button to continue with the dialogue he will shoot down and the apple will apple will fall you can now pick up the apple and that is the apple that we are going to use for the donkey so now all we need to do is go all the way back to the lady okay press press button twice and go all the way to the right So now uh, choose the wheel and select it on the card here. <laughs> okay, and uh, now choose the apple and give it to the donkey. And uh, here comes the finale. No, I'm not going to that town. I was just telling to manipulate you and we are now still suckers and but we are suckers with a trophy as you can see we get the trophy duped and my wounds stink and are corrupt but now they really have a mercy and we can now go into the town and as you can see we are now into the town if you did choose differently, if you are a murderer on your path, the town would be empty and you would be, you would have no one to talk about. This is our final destination of the game, so we are somehow not at the half of the game, but uh, really close, really close, the game is quite quick. So now the first thing that we want to do is go all the way to the left and talk to the ferryman. Talk. Will you take me to the church please? Where can I get a boat pass? <laughs> he needed a boat pass but he never minded to ask where <laughs> one can get it and is there another way to cross the canal no so no further questions goodbye so we have a really nice easter egg here uh, or a, a very really nice joke go and talk to these town people as you can see we know somebody in, in the middle but Okay, are you some sort of magician? What kind of tricks do you do? Uh, 
Can you teach me to walk on water? Okay, I'm going to... Uh, why do you have a small child tied to a leash? Let's just first ask that. Sorry, I can't get past this young boy with a rope. Seriously, <laughs> what is with the kid? And I'm going to walk away from you now. So now, go all the way to the right. We need to pick some uh, blueberries uh, for him and for his next trick. And uh, the Jesus, uh, or magician, as uh, he's called here, he is uh, important for our next three quests. And we are just going to focus on him for now. And uh, there are also three trophies tied to him. As you can see, some unfortunate men. But here are uh, big old berries. Pick them up. And now you should have berries in your inventory and go all the way to the left. Inside back to the town. Talk again to the townspeople. Here's your dang berries. Can you teach me how to walk on water now? This is your card. <laughs> and magician's assistant number one. For, uh, trophy for, first trophy for him. And there are three of them. And it is a boat pass. So now that we have boat pass, we need to go across the river to the church to get our next quests. So talk to the ferryman again and he will now take you across the water. Will you take me to the church now? And we are now just going to the second area. And enter the church. The, uh, in this area there is only one way and this door. So you cannot go anywhere else and don't worry about that. So immediately when you enter, be careful when you press cross button. You need to really uh, choose clever in order to continue with the game. So uh, choose here, I'm here to fix your plumbing. <laughs> yes, uh, plumbing, okay. So as you can see, uh, they are uh, really open for a bribe, but not yet. If you don't step aside, I will flip out and become dangerously hysterical. Choose that answer. And after that, are you trying to solicit a bribe? What a wonderful idea. And, uh, okay, you will now see what we need to do. Bring us three items of expensive jewelry and a supple young boy with rosy cheeks and a perked little butt. Okay, uh, I can do that. So here is the tiny lion, choose to pet the tiny lion for another trophy, who is a good boy. Ok, that is all for now, go all the way to the left and go to the boatman first, press cross button to go quickly. And a couple of things are now happening and we will just try to go slowly to explain everything very well and uh, earn all the trophies by the way. As you can see, he is now crucified and that is where we need to go. This is our next uh, goal of the game. Don't worry about all the open doors and all the open opportunities. First, go to save Jesus. So, we know where is the crucified area, it is to the left here. And go a little bit to the left more. Okay, so he is now here. What's up? What is it? What's in it for me? I want the boy. 
And where will I find a pair of pliers and a full, a full human skeleton? Just ask for him, but... Okay, bye. And now let's go do a couple of things in order to get this trophy and, he, and to free him. First, go all the way to the right here. We can now pick up a skeleton. If you didn't talk to him before, you couldn't pick up the skeleton because you didn't have the quest. So now as you can see, here is the skeleton. Just click on the skeleton and select to pick it up. Now go all the way to the left. Let me just show you in your inventory you should have skeleton bones. Here, okay. So now press cross button to go into the middle of town. And now you want to enter to the her here in the first door that are, that are now open. And go to the left. So once you go to the left, choose to speak with this man here. How come you are so relaxed amidst this clamor? And now just continue with the dialogue. Aren't you mad your aunt left you out of her will? So now you find out that he has treasure map. So select yes treasure map. And do you still have that treasure map? Can I have the treasure map? And you now have a treasure map. Okay. So also the important thing is can I have a bump of your sniff? That is what did relax him. And we now have a bump of a sniff. And we are now ready to get our pliers. Okay, go all the way to the left, go outside, go to the right, and go to the left to the crucified area. Continue going to the left. And we need to go to the, this area, last area in the game. And you can now just choose, the, slow down if you go any faster, okay, it is just a cutscene. You can now choose a generous bump of upper laced snuff and give it to this uh, metrognome. He will just start to uh, play faster and this guy will rotate faster. And the he will just puke out the pliers that he uh, ate before. So you can now pick up the pliers. We are not yet done with this area, we still need to go once more here, but in the next next quest. So you can now give pliers to Jesus. And you can now give a pair of bones. And you are done. Magician's assistant number two and again we need to go all the way to the left and uh, solve the last quest regarding the magician. So go all the way to the right As you can see, he is now trapped behind this in, in this tunnel. So go all the way to the right and talk. Just skip a bit here, but I really do recommend to watch it. How did you get past the, this massive boulder? Where, where did you get the black pudding from? <laughs> and uh, will you promise to give me the boy? Try pushing from your side and now choose to push from your side. Left, choose the hand and he is now free. And uh, you can now go inside this tunnel to get a lot of other quests. 
we also get the trophy number 3 for him, Magician's Assistant, and this is the last trophy regarding the Magician. So when you enter this area, a couple of things that we need to do. Uh, put your hand inside, the, uh, inside this barrel full of bugs to get the bugs. Okay, so we should have bugs now. Choose head and put the head inside barrel full of bugs. Pick it up. As you can see, you have a half eaten head. Put it up and uh, put it again in a, bar in a barrel to get the skeleton or skull. Pick it up. Okay. We now have a skull. So choose to pick up this uh, sheep here. Don't worry, she is still alive. And here is a supple young boy with rosy cheeks and uh, choose to pick him up. And now we have a lot of things, no? Okay, so choose to put this skull on this pedestal here go all the way to the right talk to this uh, bird man to the right what exactly you mean by pearl famine why are you so desperate for pearls If I help you appease the devil, will you give me some of your pearls? And now choose, I have made a sacrifice at the altar. And now the devil will appear and if we did appease him, we will get the trophy and we will get the pearl. And this game is so good. Yeah. Okay, so we did appease the devil. Uh, and just a little bit of uh, easter egg or spoiler. If you don't know what you need to put on this altar, he will just fart off his ass and <laughs> it is really very cool. Okay, so uh, go to the left. And again, we, need, uh, we have a couple of things that we need to do. So first, uh, interact with this grave here and take a look inside the grave. As you can see, the man is sleeping here and we need this book. So choose this sheep here, sacrificial lamp, and uh, put it here instead of the book. And <laughs> he is now very happy with that and we have our book. So go uh, all the way to the right to go outside and go all the way to the left. We are now uh, going to the next area here to the left. To the crucifix area. So go all the way to the last area when where we were boiling and uh, <laughs> that guy. Now Choose a book here and put it on this guy's head. Now uh, talk to this guy here to shoot that book off his head. Are you going to shoot the dang book of that chump's head or not? And we got our next trophy, holy book. So you can now just pick up the book, don't forget to pick it up because we need it for the quest later. Go all the way to the right. And now uh, as you can see here is the skunk and we have now uh, bugs. Feed the bugs to the skunk and he will start to follow you. You will also get a trophy make a friend so go all the way to the right exit the scene as you can see he is following you we need to do a certain thing with him just be sure to to see him when he follows you and double click here to enter the uh, castle or city 
We need to enter the first door here. We need to enter the room to the left. Go a little bit to the right. And click on the skunk for him to fart. And now they will open a window. So that's, that is good. You are now good buddy. You can go now. We need to go to the left. Go outside. And as you can see here is the window. Take a look inside the window. And now take a key from this table. Very great. Just skip the scene. And if you do remember. Just a moment to skip this scene. We can just go outside. If you do remember we did get a treasure map. So go inside this door here. Uh, go to the left. Here is the room for uh, with a picture of all backers at the Kickstarter. So if you want to see who backed the project and if you are one of the backers, go sure inside. But for the trophies, we don't need to go inside. Uh, but here, choose on this picture to look at it. This picture, again, as you can see. Look at the picture. And as you can see, it is the same picture as from the treasure. And we have a red cross right here. And click on this picture at this to get a safe. And now, that is why we did get the key. Use the key to open the safe. And you now are a treasure hunter. So pick up this uh, treasure. Now, uh, ooh, sorry, we did forget to do something, but okay, we will just do it. Uh, we, we will do it quickly. We did forget to take up the pearl uh, where we sacrificed for the devil. So just go a, a bit back. Sorry, that was my mistake, but nothing really special. 30 more seconds. Go all the way to the right. Go inside the cave. Enter inside the door. And pick up this pearl. As you can see, we now have a pearl. Now go all the way to the left, all the way back to the city. So enter the first door here. Now use the pearl and give it to the girl. He will now, she will now <laughs> swap her pearl for your pearl. Also, we did get the trophy. And now, if you go into inventory, combine the pearl with this brooch here. Okay, go all the way to the right here, to the librarian, and that is why we did need a book. So choose the book from the inventory and give it to the librarian. And he will give you back the treasure for that. King for a day. And we have our treasure number we only need the last treasure, number 3, and we will get it if we go here, through this door, but we need to do a lot of things in order to get that last treasure. Speak to this woman here. Nice necklace. 
Uh, tell me more about this talent contest. And now, how is the winner selected? This is how you get your sec uh, next quest for these uh, trophies. How is the winner selected? As you can see, there are three judges. The mezzo-soprano from the parish drawer, madwoman who is aroused by the stink of fish and the costume designer for the royal theater. So, I would like to enter the talent contest. I can sing. That is another quest that we can get. I don't know any songs. Okay. That is all I wish to discuss. So now go all the way to the back and we need to do a couple of things in order to prepare to get this last trophy. Enter uh, this door here. Third door from the left. Let's just uh, save the game. Save at the, at the save number one, just to be careful. Talk to this couple here. Will you make a dress for me? And it will be available later. Okay. Go all the way to the left. Talk to this man here. Hello. Will you write a song for me? But uh, let me just tell you this, if you didn't talk before like I did and get all the quests, uh, this uh, choice will not appear to you, so just be careful. Now we did get the song, be sure to take a look at the song here, go back and here press to go left around this woman. So choose to go out of this balcony to just drop down and fall. And you will now just puke the fish out. Uh, press square button immediately and select it on the fish to kill the fish. Otherwise, if you don't do it, the fish will just run out and you will need to do all everything again. Pick up the fish and select this tower uh, to go all the way back. Now, after that, the dress should be done and we need to pick up the dress and that is the thing that we need to do for our uh, uh, talent, uh, talent show. But let me just tell a bit about talent show while they are picking the dress. It is a bit tricky. I will leave a photo of the song uh, here in the video. As you can see, here is the dress. So pick up the dress and go outside and uh, let's just stop a bit to explain the talent show. Either you are going to learn this song and everything how it goes or you will just watch the video and try to see uh, what it shows in the video or you will just take a screenshot and watch on your uh, monitor or, or mobile phone. Why? Because we have uh, judges number two with the fish and uh, with the dress now bright. The first judge uh, really uh, asked for you to be perfect with the song. And you will have a choices to choose, but be careful. Uh, it is a bit tricky because uh, uh, these choices are a really short span of time so you really need to know what to choose and uh, what is the name of the song and how the song goes because if you really stop for a long time uh, the game will automatically say I, did, I don't remember the words and you'll be kicked out so I will just try to demonstrate you what you need to do but uh, the best thing is uh, to, to have at least a screenshot on your monitor or to stop the video to see the full snapshot of the song. So now talk to this woman here. I would like to enter the talent contest. I can sing. And now uh, if you did look at the, uh, at the song before, you know what song you know and Claudio Monteverde's Lamento di Ariana. Okay, so first uh, 
is la sin temo, temi morire. And it goes two times. As you can see, you have also the dress now. La siam te morire. And again, la siam te morire. E ci vole ti voi. Is next one. E ci vole ti voi. Che mi conforte. Che mi conforte. In così dura sorte. In così dura sorte. In così gran martire. In così gran martire. Lasciam te morire, lasciam te morire. And this is the final uh, note here. Don't worry if you don't uh, if you miss this and if you do something wrong. The game will just kick you out and you can repeat it uh, as long as necessary. So don't worry, it is not missable because this is the last thing that we need to do before we go to the castle. And as you can see, the crowd is very happy with us. You sang wonderfully. You are reading about fish and your dress is fabulous and we did win the contest. We should get the trophy after we get the necklace. Win the talent show, great. And now a little bit here of a joke. And we are now ready to go to the castle. As you can see we have a young boy and one, two and uh, Three, uh, three jewelries. So go all the way to the left. And we need to talk to the ferryman. Enter the church. So now give the first crown here. Now give the boy. Now Give the necklace. And now give the brooch. And here is important thing to know. Make a save. Save number two. Let's just check. Yes, save number two. Save again. We are now going to get two different endings. So first go here. Okay, just skip the dialogue. And here is the Peter. Okay, let's just try to make a save here. It will be quicker. Okay, uh, so press cross button twice. What's up, dickwads? And choose to talk to Heavenly Peter. Choose to talk first. Be careful, but you skip. And now, choose reach you say. Keep talking. And now, Press square button to draw back your sword. And that is the end. Sometime later. And uh, for the ending you need to choose to fart a lot. So just continue farting. <laughs> ok. 
Okay. And burping. And we get the procession to cavalry. And number two. Okay, select once more to go back to the main menu. We are now going to load our save. Load save number two. Draw up your sword. Go back all the way to the Heavenly Peter. Okay, so click on him and choose sword to kill him. This is also first blood, someone that we have killed. And this is also the end of the game and ending number three. Just skip the dialogue and you are now happy you can now kill the people and that is the ending number three. So click on the people here to kill them. Go all the way to the left, we need to go to our home, but kill the people. killing people to end the game And we are back at the main menu. Once we are back at the main menu, we will, we will just go through the trophies to show you what we did get and what we need to get once more. Go all the way back. So we need three more trophies, not earned. Ending number one, Brawler and Serial Killer. I will just explain and then show Brawler you need to punch a lot of people, at least seven of them, as you can see, the seven times, and the serial killer, we will just continue and kill every people. We will not do any quests, anything else, we will just kill all the people and make our, our way to church. So that is basically it. So let's just start our last playthrough, start a new game, yes. Watch the opening cutscene.
choose him and choose to punch him. Punch him again. Okay. Kill him. If you can. But you cannot, okay. Let's go to the right. Uh, let's punch the priest here. Just to be sure. Talk to Immortal John. We need to get the same quest as the last time. So you never actually killed the Peter and that is where we get the quest. Try to fi uh, find the oars. <laughs> Just leave him here. Uh, draw your sword out and uh, choose on the cripple and kill the cripple. Okay. So pick up the oars. Give the oars to the boatman. Untie the rope. Skip the cutscene. Okay, choose to uh, punch the gatekeeper. Go all the way to the left. Again to the left. Now uh, draw your sword and choose to kill this man here. <laughs> okay. Draw back your sword, try to punch this man here. Punch him once more. Let's try to do it once more to see number 7. And you can see Brawler. Okay. And now 
to draw your sword and choose to kill him. Try to kill this man here. Get the fire. <laughs> As you can see, the game is uh, really not very fond of killing the people, but it is what we need to do for the trophy. Go all the way to the right. So now draw your sword and choose to kill the gatekeeper. As you can see the town is now empty. Go all the way left to the ferryman and we will kill him too. <laughs> Sorry, it is a quite different playthrough than before. Draw the sword and click on him to kill him. Okay. Go away, all the way to the right. Go all the way to the right again. After this little cutscene, look inside the grave. We are going to try to kill this chubby uh, man in order to get the trophy that he is sleeping. And kill him too. No, he is not already dead, okay. So draw back your sword, try to wake him up to see that he is uh, already... He is not dead. So try to draw sword uh, back up to have the sword here and kill him. And <laughs> this is the serial killer. Okay, definitely that guy. <laughs> I mean, this game is so good. So we have only one trophy left. Let's just get serious and uh, go all the way to the church. We will end the game in about two to three minutes. Go all the way to the left, uh, enter the boat and go across the river. Enter the church. Just skip the scene until you are free to roam. And when you are free, draw the sword and kill the people. Kill the men here. Okay, so go all the way to the right, enter the basilica, okay.
And we are here. <laughs> Very nice uh, looking. So, what we need to do for the end is just scream. Number one and platinum king of trophies. Uh, yes, uh, let me just tell this, uh, guys. This was such an amazing game. Uh, I really did <laughs> like this one. Such an enjoyable experience, and I am also proud proud of this guide that I made here. I hope it will help you to get your platinum. It is really easy game about one hour to platinum it, uh, two playthroughs needed in order to get the platinum and yes please uh, if you did like it, if it did help you support me by subscribing to my channel or liking this video or and commenting under it means a lot and it also helps a lot. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in my next videos.